Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwoosh.com, and welcome. I thought I would do a market review this evening. It's always nice to look at the market, and here we are at the beginning of September, September 4th, and the market is proving to do exactly um, what I thought, moving higher. So I had discussed this back in here where I said this was going to hold, and, and it really is just a beautiful continuation gap here back here in July. You know, all these days up and it rallied up here and held. And you see where it gapped up to this area here and held in the middle of no man's land, but really was gapping up to this level here of resistance and then came down here and held and made support. And it held. And although this looks weird, it's shaped in a way that it was coming in and coming in and coming in and coming in, but holding. And then we rallied higher and we gapped up again and then we rallied and higher and then we gapped down. But this wasn't a good enough gap to do anything to damage this chart. And it proved that it was going to move over it very quickly because we gapped up right here. Right here on August 23rd, the market gapped up. And we tried to get over the high here. 77.28 was the high over here. 77.27 was here. We couldn't get over. But this is like, you know, the market's just being tired here a little bit. But then we gapped down again. Then we gapped down here. And here we have it. But we didn't go anywhere with this again. And so the market actually gapped down one, two three, three times. Markets gap down three times, actually here four. Let's count them, one, two, three, four. The markets gap down four times. If the market wanted to break, it's had ample opportunity to do it, and it's not doing it. And we're in an uptrend anyways. We're in an uptrend. And in fact, I was having this discussion with someone the other day, it was just yesterday, and he was telling me that the market's extended. The market's not extended. Wait till this data comes in. Here we, here we have it. The market is not extended. We've barely gone anywhere. We have barely, 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 barely gone anywhere. This is extended. This rally back up here that happened a long, long time ago, that's extended. This isn't extended. We rallied up here and held, held and rested, 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 rallied higher. Came in and held, rested, rested, rallied higher. Came in and held, rested, 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 rallied higher. Came in and held, rested and rallied. We're getting ready to make another move. We're going to get over this area. Topping tails are not entries and trades. It's not a strategy. You don't short toppy tops. It's not a strategy. Gaps is a strategy. Gaps is a strategy that I trade and teach. And the next gap class is September 14th and 15th. You've got to learn how to do this. In fact, we are actually doing this. It looks like we're actually gapping up here. We are. I'm just seeing this right here now. We're actually doing this into the, look. We're gapping up right now. It's 5.45. We're actually above the close here of today. So, you know, it looks like we're going to gap up, gap up tomorrow morning. I mean, tomorrow morning's a long way away, but we're getting over this area. Well, we could be doing it tomorrow. Oh, we power trended today. Let me get rid of this. Even, even though I called this, and I called the market long today, and I called the market long, and I've been calling it long, even I was a little bit surprised how we power trended the entire day. We power trended the entire day. If you didn't buy in the morning, you had no entry to buy. You didn't get any profit. The entry to buy the market was off the open. <laughs> Actually, and now I'm just seeing this here. We are up close to 77 here in the post market tonight. If we gap up over here tomorrow, we it's an immediate buy in the market. I don't know if we're going to do that, but it certainly looks like it's setting up that way. So it is so important to learn how to read gaps. We are not extended. We haven't gone anywhere. Uh, we are higher this year until otherwise noted. If we do a bearish gap down that changes the trend in this chart of the market, I'll know it immediately. I have all the numbers. I know how to read gaps. I'm teaching people how to do this. I'm teaching people how to do this successfully. You cannot trade successfully in the market for any length of time in day trading, overnight trading, swing trading, core trading, investing, or anything unless you know how to read gaps. It is the only way to trade correctly in the market. It is the only real true confirmation to give you conviction in price reading action. It is not in pivots. It's not in bottoms. It's not in topping tails. It's not in anything else. It's in gaps. This is the only way to trade, people. So if you're interested in learning from me, I'm teaching a class. I'm doing this right now at this time in my life. Uh, it's not going to be something that I do for the rest of my life, though. I can tell you that. I'm going to trade for the rest of my life. 
but I may not teach for the rest of my life. So it is an opportunity to learn my system from me. This is what I do, and by golly, it is good. The market is higher. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like to take my class. It's next weekend, September 14th and 15th. The cost is $24.99 to do the two-day gap class. Retakes are free. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening.